Hey everybody, welcome to Q&A video number 29. Make sure you keep asking questions, it doesn't matter about it, it can be about anything. Just know that I don't respond to review requests or let's play requests in these videos, but I will respond to them in the comments. First question today is from Omega Wolf Studios. DW, how do you think about Kickstarter games? Um, I think it's an interesting idea and it's great for uh, games that will never get financed by major publishers. Uh, stuff like the Tex Murphy game that they're uh, doing, Project Fedora. Um... Shadow Run Returns, um, Wasteland 2. That one's been trying. Uh, they've been trying to make that for a long time, and they've never been able to until now. So I'm absolutely pumped for that. Um, the Jane Jensen thing uh, with Mobius and uh, Adventure Game. It's no, it's Mystery Game X. Sorry, uh, Mystery Game X and all that. When it's for games that will never get financed without um, the support of the community, then Definitely. Kickstarter is awesome for that. But I think there's a little bit of a stigma against Kickstarter right now because it just got so popular all of a sudden. And so you had all of these people say, Hey, Tim Schafer did it with the Double Fine Adventure. We can do it too! So it's a little iffy there. I'm also a little iffy on putting down money on an unfinished product because... Uh, in the Kickstarter's case, it's really not much beyond the planning stages in most of these games. So that has me a little concerned uh, whether those games will actually get finished or not and such like that. But um, I think it's a great idea. We'll see what happens with it. Next one is from Mr. Not Perk. Have you ever thought about reviewing or doing Let's Plays of mods? Uh, not really. Simple reason is mod quality can vary wildly. Um, you can have really great mods, and you can have absolutely terrible mods. Um, it's not like games, where for the most part, games are not going to be painfully awful. Whereas mods can go anywhere in the, the spectrum. And what would I be reviewing there? Most mods are just simply content add-ons to a game. They're not total conversions. And would I just review total conversions? Would I just review just multiplayer mods? What would I review there? That doesn't make any sense. Same. Uh, there's a lot of mods that are multiplayer only, so I can't do Let's Plays of those. That would just make no sense. As for doing Let's Plays of total conversions of single player, maybe? It's pretty unlikely, though, because it's just not something I do anymore. I just haven't played a, uh, um, a single player total conversion in such a long time that it's just something I don't really care about anymore. So, there you go. Next one is from Lamafani2. Do you think it's wrong to pirate old games from which the developers won't get any money anymore, or to download something like an N64 emulator? Hmm. Piracy questions. Ugh. Non-stop piracy questions. It is not actually wrong to download an emulator for any system. Doesn't matter what the system is. That is actually protected by law. There, there have been court rulings that have said that is perfectly legal. And in fact, if you get the uh, uh, Steam versions of certain Sega Genesis games, for instance, then well, not certain, all of the Sega Genesis games, they actually run in emulation. They have an emulator wrapper that they run through Steam. So it's perfectly legal to do something like that. What's not legal is the piracy aspect. If you download these ROMs, and um, they are not games that you already own on a like say if it's an N64 for instance if you download a ROM for a game that you don't have in the cartridge then it's a problem if you actually get one that you have the cartridge of you just can't make the ROM for it for some weird reason which you're technically supposed to do by the way you're supposed to actually make your own ROMs and your own emulation for that as opposed to just get it off the internet but you can do that anyway nobody really cares apparently but um emulation is perfectly fine as long as you own the game and the system in question. Whereas with the old games from which the developers won't get any money anymore, it's v there's no real victim there, of course, but it's still... I can't really say whether it's right or wrong. I've never really considered piracy right or wrong to begin with, so asking me that question is kind of silly. It's just something I don't do, and I don't condone it, nor do I really condemn it. I just I know several people who have done this thing before, and it's not really a big deal because you can't get these games anymore otherwise. If they go on sale, like say uh, GOG starts offering them, though, then suddenly you're definitely in the wrong. So there's your little answer there. 
Next one is from the Rageaholic, also known as Serious Kamikaze. Uh, what do you think of bronies? He thinks they're effed up. Eh, I don't really care. Uh, as long as they don't get in my face about it, I, it doesn't really bother me. But there are a lot of them that get really, really annoying about it. So, yeah. And the last one for today is from the Ninja of Halo. You mentioned the Matrix, so I was wondering if you like seeing bullet time in video games. Uh, if you don't know what bullet time is, that's where it slows m down into slow motion and you see the bullets flying with the trails and everything. That's just a cool feature. Um, it's okay if they do it right. Like, Max Payne did it really well. So, uh, Max Payne 1 and 2, I haven't played the third one yet, obviously. But, um... Max Payne 1 and 2 did it really well, but I haven't really seen it in other games done really well, except for Fear. So, um, it's something that's kind of cool, but it's a little gimmicky. That's kind of your issue there. Um, if you're trying to go for this, hey, we've got slow-mo, then it, it comes across as a gimmick. If you just throw it in there and don't even say anything about it, um, except for, hey, we're going for this cinematic style, then sometimes it's a little better. Personally, I th felt like it fit Max Payne really well. It felt uh, fit Fear really well. Uh, but it was very easily abused in those games. So that was a little bit of an issue. But yeah, it's kind of a cool feature. And it, as long as they don't overdo it, I'm fine with it. So there you go, folks. That was Q&A 29. I will uh, catch you guys in other videos. And make sure to keep asking questions. So, see you later.